On July 13th, America watched in horror. Thomas Matthew Crooks, a name etched in infamy, attempted to assassinate former President Donald Trump. The scene was chaotic. Butler, Pennsylvania was supposed to be a rally, a sea of red hats and roaring applause. Instead, gunshots rang out. The Secret Service reacted swiftly, a blur of motion protecting the former president. Crooks perched on a rooftop, fired into the crowd. His target, Donald Trump. He didn't succeed. The Secret Service took him down. The nation held its breath. Was this the beginning of something bigger? A conspiracy? The questions were endless, the answers elusive. This was more than an attempt on one man's life. It was an attack on democracy itself. The investigation began immediately, a race against time to uncover the truth behind the chaos. The attempted assassination sent shockwaves through the country. The FBI took the lead, their top priority determined if Crooks acted alone. Who was this man? What drove him to such a desperate act? Agents descended upon Crooks' life. They searched his home, a nondescript house in western Pennsylvania. Inside, a chilling discovery, an arsenal of weapons, guns, ammunition, even explosives. This was not the work of an impulsive amateur. The investigation took a controversial turn. Congressman Clay Higgins, a member of the task force investigating the incident, dropped a bombshell. The FBI, he alleged, had released Crooks's body for cremation without proper authorization. This was a breach of protocol, a potential obstruction of justice. Why the rush to cremate? What secrets did Crook's body hold? The congressman demanded answers. The public, already on edge, grew even more suspicious. As the investigation intensified, the Crooks family retreated behind a wall of silence. John Quinn and Matthew Logue, high-powered attorneys, emerged as their spokesmen. The family, they insisted, was cooperating with the authorities. However, their silence spoke volumes. What did they know? Were they protecting Thomas or themselves? The investigation unearthed a troubling connection. The AR-15 used in the attack belonged to Crook's father. Had he known of his son's plans? Was this a family conspiracy? The FBI remained tight-lipped, but the suspicion lingered. The Crook's family, once anonymous, was now at the center of a national nightmare. Their silence fueled speculation, adding another layer to the already complex narrative. Delving into the digital mind, unmasking the motive. The FBI delved into Crooks' digital life, searching for clues to his motive. His online activity was a window into a troubled mind. Over 60 searches related to President Biden and former President Trump in the month leading up to the attack. The content of these searches remained shrouded in secrecy. What was he looking for? Information? Inspiration? The answers were tantalizingly out of reach. Crooks, it seemed, was drawn to the dark corners of the internet. Conspiracy theories, extremist forums, sites filled with hate and vitriol. Had he been radicalized online? Was he part of a larger network of extremists? The FBI was working tirelessly to connect the dots, to trace the path that led Crooks to that rooftop in Butler, Pennsylvania. The weight of evidence, premeditation, and calculated actions. The picture of Thomas Matthew Crooks became clearer with each passing day. This was not the act of a lone wolf driven by a sudden burst of rage. This was premeditated, calculated, and cold-blooded. Crooks had registered for the Trump rally weeks in advance. He had researched the venue, the security measures, the layout of the crowd. This was not a man driven by impulse. This was a man on a mission. On the day of the rally, Crooks flew a drone near the venue. A test run? A way to assess security vulnerabilities? The level of planning was chilling. He was then seen climbing rooftops, scoping out the perfect vantage point. This was not random. This was an assassination attempt in the making. Lingering shadows, unanswered questions, and the pursuit of justice. Months later, the investigation continues. The nation still reels from the shock. The questions still linger. What drove Thomas Matthew Crooks to attempt to assassinate a former president? What secrets died with him on that rooftop? The FBI remains tight-lipped, their investigation ongoing. The Crooks family, shrouded in silence and legal protection, remains an enigma. The attempted assassination of Donald Trump is a stark reminder of the dangers that lurk in the shadows. The investigation, though shrouded in secrecy, is a testament to the relentless pursuit of justice. The answers, when they come, will hopefully shed light on the darkness that threatens to consume us all. Until then, the nation watches and waits, haunted by the specter of what might have been